Today on the channel we're going to take a look at 15 great guitar riffs and if you're a rock cover band I think you should add these songs to your set list. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about 15 guitar riffs that I think are great. And if you're a rock cover band, I think that it would be a good idea for you to add these to your set list because these songs go over well. And hey, if you're a guitar player, they're kind of fun to play. So we got to look out for ourselves, right? We got to we got to get some once in a while. So without further ado, here's the first lick that or first guitar riff in this video that I think that you should add to your set list. Rock you like a hurricane. <laughs> Now, if you're going to add this song to your set list, just practice the guitar solo. It is possible with one guitar, but you got to be on game. So, you know, the guitar solo is a little tricky. That's the intro, though. Got to get those bends in. You know, all that cool Matias stuff is really articulate. Anyway, Rock You Like a Hurricane. Work on that song. It goes over great with the crowd, and it's a fun song to play. All right, the second riff, or the second uh, song that I want to include in this set list is uh, Pour Some Sugar On Me. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Oh, God. Uh, Def Leppard, pour some sugar on me, but trust me, the women love this song and it goes over huge. <laughs> Lots of cool little guitar parts in there. It's got that little part in the middle where it migrates up to the key of A. Anyway, pour some sugar on me. Great song. The third song that I want to include is You Really Got Me, Van Halen. Really fun solo, you know, you get to do some tapping. And that last note's a killer, the... You can be a guitar hero in seconds in that song. So you really got me. The Van Halen version is a great great song to add to your set list and it's easy. Moving on we're gonna go on to some Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi is also another hit with the ladies. Ladies buy liquor, it makes the club happy and your band will get invited back. Plus some Bon Jovi stuff is actually really fun to play. So I would, requ I would recommend learning Wanted Dead or Alive because it's a crowd sing-along and everybody knows it. So. got a really nice heavy solo in it, you know. Really cool stuff in D minor. So Wanted Dead or Alive, it rocks. The women love it. The dudes love it. They sing along. 
and it's pretty fun. So, all right, moving on, I'm gonna do, uh, we're gonna go into some, some more classic rock oriented type stuff for just a minute. But if you're a cover band, you know that you, you play to a lot of different age groups, a lot of people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond. So the next riff, it's really a chord. I would recommend throwing in a really good Beatles song. You know what song I'm talking about when I play this chord. <laughs> and it really teaches you a lot about chord structure and harmony. So. Day's night. Very identifiable. Let's move on to Jimi Hendrix. So I think this lick would be, or this song would be another great addition for your cover songs. <laughs> You know, it's awesome lick, fun to play, and it goes over well. Since we're in the blues vein, the next song that I'd like to add is Pride and Joy by Stevie Ray Vaughan. You can play for, you know, 15, 20 minutes on that if you if you got enough blues licks in your hat. Keep it in the uh, classic rock vein. We got to throw a Led Zeppelin song in there. We want to do something that we can learn as a band uh, pretty quickly and that'll sound good. And if you've just got one guitar player and a bass, Zeppelin songs work awesome. So I would recommend a whole lot of love. <laughs> Can't go wrong with some Led Zeppelin. <laughs> All right, moving on, we're going to go into more of the hard rock genre once again. Uh, ACDC, just about any riff, any song from ACDC is going to work with with a crowd but I would recommend uh, this song just because it's probably the most well-known probably the most overplayed but even if your singer can't sing the song the entire crowd will sing it or you can walk out in the crowd and let somebody else take the vocals but I would recommend doing uh, You Shook Me All Night Long <laughs> pointer make sure you get that guitar solo down in that song not every one of these songs you have to play the guitar solos perfectly but you gotta gotta nail that that angus angus solo though <laughs> especially this part So you got to get that down. People expect to hear that. So that's one bad thing about playing some of those ACDC tunes. You got to play those solos or else everyone's going to be like, that ain't right. All right, moving on in the hard rock genre, Guns N' Roses. Uh, 
I recommend throwing this song in there. You can play it a little sloppy and it still sounds good, but it'll get a reaction. We hear it at the football games. We hear it at sporting events. We're sick of it, but... That is an iconic riff, and if you got the right delay on it, it's late at night, people will go nuts. <laughs> Trust me. If you're going to play Guns N' Roses, I would suggest following it up with Poison. Many of us dislike Poison. I think Poison are all right, man. They're poppy and all, but I would say uh, for the sake of just ease, and it goes over well with the crowd, pick a song like Talk Dirty to Me. <laughs> And the solo's fun in that, you know, you just... Something like that. Anyway, that's, that's a really fun song to play live, and it goes over pretty well. All right, we love Metallica. I would recommend not playing Metallica songs live, but if you're going to do one live, it's nice to have a little mellow tune in our set, bring things down a little bit. Not everybody wants to be assaulted all night long with heavy rock, and, uh, but if you're a rock band, you don't want to break it down too low, but we could always play this one which is a little overplayed, but the crowd loves it. I don't know if I remember it. So that's a cool song. It's beautiful. Always puts me, puts me in a zone, man, when I start playing that. But see, I haven't played that song for years, and I just, off the cuff, remembered pretty much <laughs> how to do that. So muscle memory and learning these songs and, and, and them being, uh, being able to retain these songs is important. And these are all pretty easy songs to retain. So part of it's about learning the material, playing it right, and being able to execute it and please the audience. So a lot of factors in there. All right, moving on to some more metal. Uh, Rat. I would say, you know, Rat's got a lot of great riffs, but probably the most recognizable, in my opinion, is Round and Round. <laughs> too complicated but Warren Demartini uh, was a monster and it's really fun to play his licks and people dig the rat so I would say throw in a rat song round and round is a piece of cake and it's fun to play all right in the classic rock genre going back to classic I would say adding a Billy Gibbons tune or some ZZ, ZZ Top is a good idea and uh, it's a great it's a great song great songs for singers to kind of take a break and give you a little bit of a chance to open up especially if you can play a lot of blues but I would say you know Lagrange is a great one you I mean the minute you start playing that lick everybody just wants to go ha ha just remember that guitar solo is in C. E modulates up to C. Then 
goes back down to A. But you can't go wrong with the Reverend, man. Reverend Billy Gibbons. Excellent, excellent stuff. All right, the last song that I'm going to include on this is a Billy Idol song. And uh, I really think it's a, it's a great song to play live. The introduction's a little, it's a little tricky, but um, once you get it down, it's, it's not too bad. But people love this song. Um, Rebel Yell. Let me get this guitar to work. Once you start doing that, people are going to be like, yeah, Rebel Yell. <laughs> Guitar solo <laughs> is like is like doing Chuck Berry. When it starts off, you just play in that B minor. All right, so uh, don't take this list too seriously. We're just having fun today. But in my opinion, it's really important when picking out set lists for your band. If you're a rock cover band, you want riffs that grab people's attention. You want songs that are fun to play. They're easy to play, but they rock. And that don't require way too much preparation as a band because you want to get out there, start gigging, start playing, impress some people, make the bar some money, and also get better as a player, as a musician, and experience life. So... If you can think of any other great songs like riffs and songs to add to set list, please comment below. Um, I appreciate you watching the channel. Please like uh, the video. And if you like this kind of content, subscribe. Until next time, peace out.